Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. So today, meron na naman tayong bagong lesson and that is performing two or more operations using the MDAS rule. So that will be our lesson for today na, na naisingit natin yung dalawang multiplication tricks. Supposedly, ito yung next um ito yung next lesson natin but since merong na request kung pwede natin gawan ng video yung multiplication tricks using the two hands so ngayon proceed tayo sa ating uh, next video which is performing two or more operations using MDAS rule and then ang susunod nating video is um, performing two or more operations in whole numbers pa rin using the GEMDAS rule so today MDAS muna yung pag-uusapan natin Kapag nakakita kayo ng ganitong operation, so 72 divided by 8 minus 2 times 3 plus 7. Paano natin siya i-solve? Dito na papasok ang ating MDAS rule. So, ano yung MDAS? MDAS stands for M, klaro ba yung red? M stands for multiplication. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Multiplication and then division. D stands for division and A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. Ayan. So, ang M does means multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So, i-memorize nyo lang siya para alam nyo yung order kung ano yung uunahin nyo sa operation. Ito yung ibig sabihin nating M does. So, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And, si multiplication and division, they have equal rank or magkapareho yung ranggo nila. And then, si addition and subtraction, they also have equal rank. So, magkapareho din yung rank nila. So, ano ang ibig sabihin nito? Maiintindihan natin ito kapag nagpatuloy tayo sa ating video and um, let's go with examples kung paano natin gamitin ang MDAS rule. For example, this one, 72 divided by 8 minus 2 times 3 plus 7. Anong operation ang uunahin natin? Since meron tayong MDAS rule, so ibig sabihin ang uunahin natin is multiplication. And ang susunod is division, susunod is addition and subtraction. So base sa ating example, ano yung uunahin natin dito? Ano yung uunahin natin sa ating example based on our rule? Of course, dapat ang unahin natin is ang multiplication. But since meron tayong rules sa ating MDAS rule na ang multiplication and division have equal rank, meaning kung sino yung nauna sa kanila from left to right, siya yung uunahin mo. Again, multiplication and division have equal rank. Kung sino yung nauna sa kanila from left to right, siya yung uunahin mo. Same din sa addition and subtraction. Meron silang equal rank. Kung sino man yung nauna sa kanila from left to right, siya din yung uunahin mo. So, hindi ibig sabihin na dahil M does multiplication, ibig sabihin si 2 times 3 yung uunahin natin. Tapos, sunod is 72 divided by 8. No. Kung sino yung nauna sa kanila from left to right, so, ang nauna sa kanila is si division. So, ibig sabihin, uunahin natin si division and isusunod natin si multiplication. Pagkatapos naman, si addition. Pareho dito, si addition na sa huling part. And, nauna si subtraction. So, ibig sabihin, from left to right, may equal rank sila. Kahit na nasa una si subtraction and nasa huli si addition, uunahin natin si subtraction. Kahit na una si ad addition, sorry, addition sa MDAS. So, Pwede na tayong mag-solve. Uunahin natin si division. 72 divided by 8 is equal to 9. So, 72 divided by 8 is equal to 9 minus, isusunod natin si multiplication. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Pagkatapos, kopyahin natin plus 7. 9 minus 3 is equal to, sorry, 9 minus 6 is equal to 3 plus 7. 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. Ito na yung sagot natin. So, 72 divided by 8 minus 2 times 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. Another example, 15 times 3 divided by 3 minus 7 plus 12. So, nauna si multiplication. Ibig sabihin, uunahin natin si multiplication. 15 times 3 is equal to 45. 
Kopyahin natin yung sunod, divided by 3, minus 7, plus 12. So, 45 divided by 3, minus 7, plus 12. Next natin is C division. So, 45 divided by 3 is equal to 15. Minus 7, plus 12. So, ang uunahin natin is i-subtraction. 15 minus 7 is equal to 8 plus 12. So, 8 plus 12 is equal to 20. 15 times 3, 15 times 3 divided by 3 plus, minus 7 plus 12 is equal to 20. Another example, 35 minus 99 divided by 11 times 2 plus 8. Ano yung uunahin natin? Dahil daw na si division, uunahin natin si division. So, kopyahin natin si 35 minus 99 divided by 11 is equal to 9. And then, times 2 plus 8. So, 35 minus 9 times 2 plus 8. Ano naman yung susunod natin? Division. No, multiplication. So, si multiplication is si 9 times 2. So, 35 minus 9 times 2 is equal to 18 plus 8. So, proceed na tayo. And since na nauna si subtraction dito sa left, uunahin natin si subtraction. So, 35 minus 18 is equal to 17 plus 8. So, 35 minus 18 is equal to 17 plus 8. So, 17 plus 8 is equal to 25. Ibig sabihin, 35 minus 99 divided by 11 times 2 plus 8 is equal to 25. Okay, so ganun lang siya kadali ang MDAS rule. Basta tatandaan natin na multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So, kung uh, si division and multiplication, they have equal rank and si addition and subtraction, they have equal rank. So, uunahin mo lang kung sino yung nauna from left to right para makapag-proceed ka sa iyong operation. Ang lesson na to is makakatulong din sa susunod nating lesson which is performing two or more operations in whole numbers uh, following the GEMDAS rule. So, parang preparation na din ito para sa ating GEMDAS rule para hindi na tayo mahirapan sa ating GEMDAS rule. That's all for today's video guys. Sana may natutunan tayo kahit na alam na natin ito. Syempre kailangan nating i-refresh and don't forget to like our video and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like and follow us on Facebook. Salamat sa inyong panonood. See you on our next lesson. Bye.